Hi friends, this is going to be a super fast, super easy meal prep. I just need to keep things simple. So I have some chicken breast that I already cubed and I'll be adding my favorite spices, but you season it however you prefer. And yes, I finally did remember to buy more onion powder. I was without it for over a week because I just kept forgetting to buy more. I'm mixing it all up and I'll be setting it aside to marinate in the fridge while I get the rest of the food ready. This is just a super easy Mediterranean salad, so I'll be cutting up some tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers. The original recipe does call for red and green peppers, but I don't have any, and honestly, I don't typically add it because I'm always trying to keep the cost down. But if you have that, it would be amazing. And also, if you want to sprinkle in some feta cheese, that would also make it taste amazing. It also does call for parsley, which I don't have, so I was just adding in some cilantro, but look how pretty it looks. I'm also making quinoa, which my daughter bought when she was visiting, and I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out, but quinoa is actually really good for you. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals, fiber, and it does have a little more protein than regular white rice or even brown rice. It also has less carbs and calories than rice, but it is way more expensive, so this is not something I'm going to be feeding my whole family. It'll just be me eating it from time to time, and it's actually very easy to cook. It's just putting it in water and letting it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now I'm cooking the onions that I had chopped up before for the Mediterranean salad, but first I needed to check on the quinoa because it smelled like it might have been burning and turned out it wasn't, but it did need more water since it was drying out, so I went ahead and added a little bit more. I'm just adding some ground meat that I had set aside for myself the other night and I'll be adding a can of black beans and some tomatoes to basically just make a variation of like a Mexican beef and rice skillet dish and you could add corn if you wanted to I didn't just because I was trying to keep the calories down um, but that would definitely add a nice pop of color so it looks pretty and of course you could drizzle it with enchilada sauce and sprinkle some cheddar cheese on top which I most definitely will do because Everything tastes better with cheese. Quinoa is done and I'm going to be adding it to the beef and just mixing it up. It did get a little stuck to the pan, not too bad, but next time I'll have to keep a closer eye on it. But I did not set off the smoke alarm, which my husband affectionately calls the dinner bell. So I'll call that a win. It actually looks pretty good, but could definitely use the pop of color from the corn just to make it look nice but I'm sure it'll still taste great. It's finally time to cook the chicken that's been marinating and I'll just be having this over a bed of salad most likely for lunch but it could totally be for dinner as well and that's actually what I like about meal prepping. It gives me options. I'm not having to scramble at the last minute trying to figure out what I'm going to eat and if I'm feeling hungry I'm less likely to make a bad choice if I know I already have food that's cooked and waiting for me in the fridge. All that cooking made my little guy hungry, so I stopped and made him a sandwich and he was on his way after saying hello. Food is done and normally I would just wrap everything up as is and call it good, but I did find these portion control containers for $5. I decided I was going to give that a try instead because I think it'll help with people not dipping into my food if they see that I already set it aside for myself. So we'll see if that works or not, but I'm hopeful. And just so you know, I do plan on doing a meal prep Monday video each week where I'll be sharing what I'm eating to help me stay on track with my weight loss goals. And these videos are not going to be fancy. They're pretty much going to be what you see here. No frills and not a whole lot of ingredients because I like to keep things budget friendly. Of course, if I find an amazing deal, that's a different story. But if that sounds good to you, subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll link the meal prep video I did last week at the end of the video. And as always, if you enjoyed this video or got some dinner or lunch inspiration from it, don't forget to hit the like button because it really does help out small channels like mine. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.